So for today, we're going to be talking about Aegis Scepter. It just came out not too long ago, and I'm going to be having a guide. I still don't know if I'm going to be doing the guide in the review just because the guide itself is going to be super duper long, like not ridiculously long, but it is pretty, pretty, pretty long considering that it takes four weeks. So the first portion is going to be the collectibles and then the next portion is going to be the actual uh, quest step. So I will be right back.
once you get let, once you collect the final atlas skew, you're going to want to head back to that portal room where you can actually turn in the atlas skews. Again, you can only do these weekly, so if this is week four currently, you're going to have to wait for the next rotation, but that next week is week one and then so on and so forth. Unless Bungie changes it and you can just do it all in one go, that would be pretty cool, but I highly doubt it. So once you turn in the last Atlas skews, you're going to want to head to the portal and you're actually going to be able to see the weapon itself. But Mara's going to tell you that there's some spooky doopy stuff on it and you have to basically unlock it and just head back tomorrow. She's going to tell you how to actually do it. After that, she's going to actually want you to do rifle final blows and get 100 parallax trajectories in astral alignment. Don't be like me and do, try to do it anywhere else. This one was pretty simple. Just the one the portion that was pretty annoying was the actual auto rifle kills themselves i was using sweet business but you can also use literally anything else titans specifically this works really well with you because you have a chest piece specifically for auto rifles but again this is not too hard for titans and, and warlocks or hunters and warlocks after you complete that that section it's gonna want you to kill champions and get super kills 20 specifically and 18 for the champions this one was kind of annoying but the the champion portion was not that hard the super one was probably the most annoying considering uh the only portion that you get a lot of kills is like at the last end boss after this you're gonna want to do lake of shadows the disgrace and the glassway to collect noble strands if i remember correctly basically just kill the last boss and you'll get these uh these materials after that honestly that's really it uh you're gonna want to head back to queen um the queen and then from there she's just gonna give you a little mission a hollow coronation and i got really excited because i thought this was gonna be like a little secret mission but no once you get in there you actually can just get the gun itself and it's basically just go all out use the gun however you want and that's really it honestly there's a cutscene at the end with mara and whatnot but i'm not gonna spoil that here I think this quest steps were pretty long for an exotic that's like I would I don't want to say it sucks because it really doesn't it's a lot of fun but it's definitely not going to be a gun that people use in in raids it's not going to be like a DPS powerhouse it's it's a fun weapon it's super fun uh it, there's definitely a lot of potential for some cool build ideas that I will probably make in another video because this video is already super duper long but again, I, I'm actually pretty pretty in love with the weapon. Not only that, but if you guys saw in the gameplay, you actually can destroy the rocks with that specific exotic, which is, I was completely right. That's exactly what I thought was going to happen. It's not the first time we've used an exotic to basically complete stuff. So let me know your thoughts and comments below. I'll do the review slash build video in, an, in a separate video just because this video is so long. But yeah, let me know your thoughts and comments below. Let me know what week you are in. And honestly, I would highly suggest this weapon. It's a lot of fun, especially if you are into stasis and if you have stasis builds. I'm going to go all in with the stasis build. So yeah, be safe, guys, and I'll see you guys later.